Alrighty boys, so today, I'll be attempting to be popular Roblox games, but with only one life. In this video, I'll show you some gameplay, and also document my journey. And the first game we have is called Doors. To summarize, this game is a horror game that consists of walking through various doors and rooms while trying to survive against hostile entities. And the way you would beat this game is to get to door 100 and then escape. Oh my goodness, okay. I remember this game now. And yes, we have to grab a key here. Here we go. And I totally forgot, I can actually get spider jump scared by these drawers here, so... I don't think I'm gonna be opening too many of those. Let's just keep on opening these doors. Literally the name of the game. Wait, what was that? Is this guy coming already? Bro. Okay, I was not expecting that guy to come. Also, it's very dark. I'm not trying to get jump scared. Oh! Okay, where's the black thingy? Where's the black guy? I don't think he's near me. I think we're good. Let's just keep going. Going through the levels and doors were actually pretty easy. It has been a year since I played this game, but everything was coming back to me. And everything was going pretty good. And hopefully it stays like that. Alright, great. We need a lock for this thing. Where could this key be? Okay, I'm just trying to make it to floor 50, okay? And obviously try to beat the game. What was that noise? Is that like coming? Ooh, we're at the chase scene now, chat. We're about to do the chase scene. It should be pretty easy if I can recall. You just have to uh, not suck at the game. Here we go. Wait, what? Okay, I did not know that guy could come as you are, like, doing that thing there. Chat, I didn't know this guy could come once you're at that part, bro. Oh my goodness, I actually suck at this game. <laughs> and boys, our next game is called Block Tales. To summarize, Blocktales is a multiplayer turn-based RPG inspired by Paper Mario 64 and Earthbound. And the way I'm trying to beat this game is to reach one of the biggest bosses, the Cruel King. So as I loaded into the game, I instantly headed outside, towards Roblox HQ. And on the way there, I did grab this one bomb, and then I made my way inside. And there were some enemies in there, and I was able to evade them using this dash. And also encountered this red and blue guy. Long story short, I defeat them pretty easily, go to Shabletsky to achieve his sword, then I used the sword to break the barricade, and then fought a ton of these enemies. Okay, and here we go, the fishing guy. This is what I want. Let's buy some, like, worms from this guy, probably, like, three. Let's go fishing. Very good items we just had. Oh my goodness. Hello there. Hold it right there, punk. And then these uh, red and blue guys are gonna come down. And okay, this should be easy. Let's use our items as well. These guys are very low. Watch this. Use a bomb. Literally just explode both of them. And okay, let's use one of our items. Let's maybe use this one first. Because, like, it's pretty convenient. So at this point, I was in the caves. Inside, I encountered many of these annoying enemies, ranging from all these small ants, rats, and polar bears. I also had to fight this giant ant over here, which I think was a boss. After battling it out and defeating the ants, I got to the town. Apparently we had to talk to the mayor, but I don't really know where this mayor is. This, uh, looks like this guy is just dead. I'll talk to the shop. We have this ice storm, we have this onion ring. Bro, that's actually so useful, give me that. We have brownie as well, dude! But okay, let's try to find the mayor. I don't know where the mayor is. A few moments later. Oh, here he is. You want some adventurous ID, don't ya? No one visits nowadays, my leg. And okay, let's just go up ahead. We have to climb the mountains now, chat. Yes, hello there, sir. Let me give this guy my ID, then let's go up ahead. After making it to the mountains and eliminating some of the bad guys, there's this one obstacle in front of me, which was this thing right here. The way you'll get past this obstacle is to use a certain ability, which is a dynamite ability, to blow this thing up. So now my new objective was to find the person that would give me the ability, and honestly, let's just fast forward. I go through the mountains, I encounter many of these wild animals, 
and whatever this thing is. And after defeating them, I completed this mini ice puzzle and got the ability I needed. And from here, I made it to the castle. Okay, now we have to explore the castle. I'm pretty sure this is where the boss is or something, right chat? Oh, we gotta hit him first. Let's hit him first. Oh, nice counter. Oh, that was not a nice counter. During my time here, I defeated many of these guards. And there were actually a lot of them, like everywhere. Eventually, I encountered another huge threat, which was the statue. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's go! Oh my goodness, this statue guy is actually so annoying. For this kingdom, these people must live on, and he just exploded. To fast forward some more, I explored deeper into the castle, fought more knights, helped this wizard with some project, then I got the shrinking ability. I was able to size down, enter a small hole, and find a key. This key opened up a gate, I went up the staircase, and this was it. I walked down the long hallway and encountered the cruel king. Oh, Jesus. So is this what she wanted? You think you're a hero story, but deep down you're just filled with anyone else. I won't let it happen with the ice dagger, no matter what it takes. And I guess it's now time to fight this guy. Alright, let's do this thing, chat! 40 HP, that's absolutely nothing. Let's hit him. Oh, shoot. I did not dodge that. Oh, that's a counter! Okay, abilities. I gotta use my abilities, chat. Items. Let's do this. Low key, this is actually good. You can give me some of that. Oh, he's calling for help! Oh, this is gonna be so hard to deal with, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, this guy has so much HP! Counter that! Okay, now it's just the boss. Nice counter. Chat, I actually might be dead, I'm not gonna lie. Nice counter. Oh, one damage, that's bad. That is so bad, dude! This is now or never chat. If I die here, I'm gonna be so sad. 7 HP! Oh my goodness! It was at this moment that he knew. He fu- So yeah. Well that sucks. I mean at least I was able to beat him right after, right? And boys, our next game is called Guts and Black Powder. To summarize, this game takes place during the Napoleonic War times, but the twist is, you're against the undead zombie masses. And the way you would achieve victory will depend on the map slash objective you have, and the current map that I had was Bardewis Fortress. But guys, long story short, we're trying not to die in this game. Even though it says I have one death. I, I don't know how I have one death, okay? Just pretend that this is a zero. For the sake of the video, pretend it's a zero. And okay, find supplies for this, uh, cannon here. Which is actually pretty easy to do. We just had to search for, like, the stuff, uh... Yeah, give me the swab. You need the swab so then you're able to clean the cannon. You also need, like, a cannonball or something like that. Here we go. There we go, easy. This is why having a team in this game is so good. I literally have people I can rely on. And okay, boys, let's dig. Let's dig together. This should be pretty standard, pretty uphill and everything like that. It's just getting to that one part and then defending might be kind of hard. But after digging through the snow, which by the way, I wasn't even digging. I was using a melee button like an idiot. But anyways, we got to the church. And from here, you'd have to ring a bell and then defend the land. If there's any bombers, I'll try to get them with my blunderbuss. Like, maybe that guy there. Shoot! Get back! I got him! Let me reload real quick too, though. Just in case another one shows up, and I gotta shoot it. Oh, that's one right there! Good job, bro! Just keep getting all these guys here. Let's try to not take too much damage. 
Let's get all those guys. At least we're able to hold them back up, so let's just clear the snow now. I just hit walk up the lighthouse. So at this point, all we had to do was set up base, which means our sappers we had to set up defenses from the undead. We would then have to set up the lighthouse, and then we had to defend from the horrible zombies trying to kill us. Now we have to wait for the ships to arrive. Probably takes like a good like three to four minutes or something. Let's just get that bomber there. Another bomber. Oh, we shot the same guy. Bomber all the way down there, I can get him. Nice. Bro, help him! Oh, never mind, he's dead! It might be looking bad, but I guarantee you, it's not even that bad. Get that bomber there, it exploded. The boat should be coming any sec now, with reinforcements and stuff. I saw a bomber there, I got him. Dude, we're actually not doing that bad. Oh, now we're rushing! Oh, they fell down! And okay, apparently the ship is coming, shot. The ship is coming! Let's keep hitting them with our saber and stuff. Yeah, get on the ship before it leaves, dude! Get out of here! I'm out of here, boys! I'm out of here! Let's go! Oh my goodness, chat, we did it. We did it. Like, guys, it says one death here, but trust me, I said it from the beginning. We have zero deaths, okay, chat? That was zero deaths. Oh my goodness, boys, that is a job well done from my team, of course. Not really from me, but definitely from my team. And boys, our next game is called Pressure. And to summarize in simple terms, Pressure is a horror game similar to Doors, and the way you would win in this game is actually something I wouldn't know, since I've never played it before. I haven't played Pressure before, right? That's why I have this uh, intro here. You're expendable. You're not expected to return. But I've have seen a lot of gameplay, especially from like my favorite streamers or YouTubers play this game. And okay, let's just instantly start this thing. This looks very familiar from the gameplay that I've seen from people playing this game, because like, obviously this is very similar to Doors. To my knowledge, you actually don't get Spyro jump scared from these drawers here. So let's just go up ahead, number one. And to my knowledge, with all these entities here, it's kind of easy to predict how they come with like the light flickering stuff. So you have to be careful about that, or else you're gonna die. And I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to die, chat. Oh, the lights flickered. He's coming. We don't want to go too quick, though. That's him! Oh my goodness, I was close. And okay, I'm pretty sure there's no random eyeball that comes out at you if you're like in the darkness, and I just got an achievement for that. So as you guys just saw, that one entity tried to kill me. I think his name's Angler or something. And just like Doors, he has to hide inside a closet slash locker to survive. But wait, some of the lockers can contain some entity, so make sure you avoid that. Dude, I hate long hallways. The lights just flickered. Yo! Oh my goodness. Oh, now it's all dark. It's all scary and everything. Please, no jump scare. Thank you. Oh! Oh my goodness, that actually got me. Bro, I was not expecting some random red guy to appear, dude. Let me just use my first aid kit now, because that did more than 50% of my HP. Five minutes later. Dude, that's so scary. Oh! What are you? Yo, don't touch me! Do not touch me! I think I have to keep looking at these people, chat. Or else they, like, kill me. After traversing through the facility, I was able to go through this dark room. The only annoying part was that this one green guy kept making me look at him. And also that one entity came again. And things were looking pretty decent. Until this guy showed up. I'm just gonna go up ahead, I'm not afraid. Even though I should be afraid, there's no lockers. I hear him. Oh, is that like Rush? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna use this. I hear him. Oh! So that was it. That was me trying these popular Roblox games with just one life. Honestly, I'm expecting to lose every game here, but I'm glad we won at least one of them. But until then, boys, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like. If you guys didn't, make sure you dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.